Hey everybody, Lake Station Aquariums here today. If you're wondering what that lump in the sand is, that is a banjo catfish. First of all, I do not recommend watching that movie that that clip is from with your parents. And secondly, I think that the banjo catfish gets a really weird reputation in the hobby because it hides all the time. I mean, you will rarely see this fish. I honestly forget I have this fish like 90% of the time and then he pops out of the sand during a certain feeding time or at night time I might see him out and about but these guys hide a lot and the way they hide is they just straight up bury themselves they're just gonna be underneath the sand they're gonna be doing their thing and they will sit there all day long like probably 14 to 17 hours a day they're just gonna be chilling under the sand when they send some food they will burst out of the sand it's pretty cool and uh, they will forage around and eat um, all the stuff that will be on the surface of the aquarium substrate they'll just kind of forge around and do that they don't swim up and eat or anything like that they're kind of weird swimmers they really don't swim too much they just kind of shimmy along the uh the bottom of your aquarium so it's kind of cool to watch but like honestly give this fish a try because you don't see them ever i mean how many times have you really seen this fish unless you're currently keeping them when you go to the pet stores and stuff you're not really going to see them out and about they're going to be kind of underneath the gravel or whatever they might be using but they definitely prefer sand substrate to bury themselves in but they will use gravel to bury themselves as well now these guys are super peaceful you don't have to worry about them going after your fish or anything like that even like if a corydora swam by it i don't think he's gonna launch out of the sand like you'd kind of expect him to just from the looks of him he doesn't look like the nicest guy but he is a totally fine uh friendly little critter to have in your aquarium he, he's just too lazy to kind of go after other fish i kind of consider it like the sloth if it was a fish because he just doesn't do much and like literally you can pick him up i used to work in the um in an aquarium store and uh, all I would have to do to get these guys into a customer's fish bag would grab them by the tail and just drop them in. It was a lot easier than just scooping them up with a net. I never recommend manhandling your fish, but that's just what I did to uh, get it done. Now, these guys do get a little bit larger. I mean, you're going to see them get around, you know, five to six inches I've read about. I've never seen one that big personally, but I can definitely see it happening. So these guys are... Um, these guys are definitely a normal fish when it comes to, you know, maintaining your fish tank. I mean, you're not going to have to alter your pH or anything. They are totally fine with your neutral pH level and uh, normal tropical temperatures. These guys are going to thrive in just a regular standard aquarium. I mean, if you wanted to try a few of them, it's not like they're going to school up together. They might kind of chill in the same area underneath the substrate, but they're not really schoolers. And telling male from female is kind of difficult. You might want to look up a little bit more research on that because truly I don't know how to sex these guys. It's just, it's a little different. I think the females are a little bit fatter. Yeah, I, I would definitely look that up. You know, these guys are, uh, when it comes to feeding them, I mean, their diet is really, they're, they're not fussy. They're going to eat, you know, live foods, freeze foods, like frozen foods is what I feed mine. And, uh... They'll go after fish flake that lands on the uh, substrate and everything like that. If you're worried these guys aren't getting enough food, you can always try and feed them like at night, like when your lights are off in your aquarium, you can literally just drop some food, especially in your filter flow area. Um, so it kind of jets down to the bottom of the aquarium and that way it'll ensure they'll get food. These guys just look so incredible and I just think they're so underrated. I just, I think everybody should have one in their aquarium. I mean, if you have the space for it, if you have the nice sandy substrate, definitely give them a shot it's just such a cool fish that you can kind of have in there but just don't expect to show this fish off i mean the footage i got in this video right here was like accumulated over months and months because this guy just never comes out but when he does come out it's super cool and i'm really happy i bought him in the first place but like i said you're gonna forget you have him half the time but it's just you can't really go wrong with him i mean he's a nice cleanup crew it's going to finish any unwanted or wasted away food that uh, was missed by other fish. And he's going to just kind of uh, clean up the, the bottom of your tank. And he's really good at that too. So definitely give him a shot. These guys are amazing little animals. You don't see them too much. But yeah, that's my basic info on the uh, Banjo Catfish. And I hope you guys check them out. These guys are just so cool. So you might have to look a little bit harder at the uh, store. But definitely give them a shot. Really appreciate you guys checking out the video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day.